All right, Zernis, this topic is how to install the production carbon fiber sleeve on your FX Smooth Tooth X liner. All right, first thing is make sure your barrel is clean. All right, let me start with uh, 600. You gotta degrease the whole liner, even the adhesive tape, the residue on there. You could use sandpaper, that was 220, or this is a 120 grit. This is just to rough up the surface. So the, the bonding, adhere to it better all right and you need to uh wipe this out after you uh sand it down you can use uh you know paint thinner acetone any, any type of degreaser to remove any uh grease remaining okay Also, we need to uh, clean the inside is carbon fiber too, you know. But I already cleaned it, but uh, you know, cleaner the better, right? Just run to push it all the way through, get any kind of uh, powdery carbon fiber in there. And now we need to pre measure the jam nut. So this liner sleeve doesn't get jammed when you tighten this jam nut. So this liner sits on a shoulder in here and it stops. That's when you tighten it down. That's how you uh, torque the whole system down. All right. And This jam that can't be sitting on the liner. All right, so you need a little clearance about like that. So on a 600 is very critical. You get the right measurement because uh, I'll show you there ain't that much clearance. All right, here's a jam nut tightened down. Here's where the liner sits on the the barrel. Uh, adapter okay and you only have this much play in between so it's critical to have it in the middle not not butting in against the half inch 20 or the barrel mount here so best to do is measure it from this side You just butt it in like that. Get your marker. And right there. And try to be, the liner is supposed to be the back of the black line. All right. Now what we're going to use, oh, first off, if you had any, uh, a tape here on the liner that's indicating what type of liner it is all right before you you know, after you clean it mark it here you know I, I mark mine as a PA this pellet liner A and this one here is a superior liner standard and this one here is a slug liner A all right so if you remove the jam nut while it's still in the gun, you remove it, and you'll see your marking. So you know right off what kind of liner you have inside the barrel without removing it. You can mark it here, but you have to remove the whole liner out to see it. I just put it on the end so I could 
not disturb this liner while it's embedded inside the barrel. All right, now let's talk about using a two-part epoxy on this, but this seems to work. It has enough clearance to air dry in there. I've been testing it for a while, it works for good. So we're gonna do the 600. We're gonna, I'll show you how to bond it on there. Usually you start from the muzzle end and go through this section here. It's just one streak all the way through. Slide your liner. And I slowly rotate while it's going in. Now we're getting close to the muzzle end for your jam nut. Look for your marking. There's my mark. Now I'll apply a little bit of Loctite there. Then rotate it till I get close to that mark right there. Then to make sure this jam nut, all right, I have a proper clearance. I see a clearance right there. And this grew already set. Just remove the excess. I think you have no more than a minute or so for this thing set. So you have to set it, you know, pretty quick. You know, I got the proper clearance here. Proper clearance here is a, I see a clearance and both then so you could remove this excess here bonding Just use the sandpaper and if the if it goes in there smoothly you don't have to totally remove that bonding residue on there. All right. There you go. That's on a 600. Now, is it going to be the same? I'm going to cut the 500 a little shorter so I have more room to play with. But on the 700, you got to have it jam nut it's not the right caliber it's about I have this much clearance and not the right clearance again so you have this much clearance or you could put it anywhere you want to to get the proper distance between here and here you could center it get equal spacing on both ends all right, usually uh, I won't, if you're using this adhesive, adhesive, I wouldn't put, I would put, I'll let it cure overnight. All right, so I don't wanna torque this down and adding stress to the liner and flex it a little bit. So let it bond first. All right. If you get any uh, questions, video requests, drop me a line. If you like it, subscribe. <laughs> Catch you next video.